cardiac arrest, uh, a real medical emergency. We're diving into why some um, common treatments aren't as effective as we once thought. Exactly. Outdated practices, you know, need updating. Evidence-based medicine is um, key. Calcium, for instance, used to be a go-to. Now? Not so much. Studies show um, no improvement in survival rates. In fact, sometimes worst outcomes. Right. Sodium bicarbonate, another one that's fallen out of favor? Yes. It can actually create more problems than it solves. Let's talk calcium. What's the current recommendation? Routine use is discouraged. Only use it for hyperkalemia, hypocalcemia, or calcium channel blocker overdoses. So only when there's a specific underlying cause? Precisely. Otherwise, it's not beneficial. Some studies even linked it to worse neurological outcomes after 90 days. Wow, that's a significant finding. What about the mechanism of action? Calcium is crucial for muscle contraction, but in cardiac arrest, it just doesn't seem to help. Next up, sodium bicarbonate, the old workhorse for acidosis. It was believed to um, buffer excess hydrogen ions, but research shows it doesn't improve survival. And what are the potential downsides? Increased carbon dioxide, worsening acidosis, hypernatremia, and interference with other drugs. It's a mess. I see. So when is it appropriate to use sodium bicarbonate? Only in specific cases like hyperkalemia or tricyclic antidepressant overdose. Let's move on to magnesium. Antiarrhythmic potential, right? Theoretically, yes. But studies haven't shown improved outcomes in general cardiac arrest. What are the exceptions? Torsades de pointis, a type of ventricular tachycardia, and suspected hypomagnesemia. So again, targeted use only, not a routine treatment. Correct. Focus should be on high-quality CPR and defibrillation. What are the key takeaways for healthcare providers? Prioritize evidence-based interventions. High-quality CPR and defibrillation are crucial. And addressing reversible causes? Absolutely. Hypoxia, hypovolemia, electrolyte imbalances, these need immediate attention. So it's about a tailored approach to each patient? Exactly. Individualized treatment based on the specific situation. The message is clear. Avoid routine administration. Yes. These medications can have adverse effects without improving outcomes. What's the biggest risk of routine use? Unnecessary side effects and potentially delaying more effective treatments. So it's about focusing on what truly works. Precisely. Evidence-based medicine guides our actions. Let's reiterate the importance of high-quality CPR. It's fundamental. Proper chest compressions, effective ventilation, you know, the basics. And early defibrillation for shockable rhythms? Critical. Time is of the essence in cardiac arrest. So it's all about speed and precision? Absolutely. Every second counts. So in summary, what's the key message for our listeners? Focus on high-quality CPR, defibrillation, and addressing reversible causes. And targeted medication use only when absolutely necessary. Yes. Avoid routine administration of calcium, sodium bicarbonate, and magnesium. Thank you for clarifying these important points. You're welcome. This discussion has been invaluable for healthcare providers. I hope it helps improve patient care. That was a great discussion. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.